Hello, and welcome to Grand Canyon University, Canyon Professional Development. This video is one in a series of teaching practices for parents. We will focus specifically on scheduling learning at home. These tips and tools may be used while school is closed, or even during summer break, or spring break, or winter break. My name is Marnie Landry, and I am the K-12 STEM Outreach Manager for Grand Canyon University. My background is as a high school science and STEM teacher in Arizona. Canyon Professional Development and K-12 Outreach and Support is here to empower, educate, and inspire our community. That's you. So that you can take action to fulfill your purpose and serve others. The objectives for today's video are to identify your need to knows, to organize that information, and to create a schedule. Throughout this presentation, I will present to you some tools and templates that you can use to accomplish all of these things. You may either pause the presentation at any time, take a photograph, take a screenshot, or just wait till the end, and all of the links will be provided in the description on our YouTube channel below the video. So first, what are your need to knows? Are you trying to organize and schedule one child or multiple children's learning? Are there multiple teachers? Do you have children going to more than one school? Do teachers in the same school or at different schools use different learning platforms? Do you know how to access those? Are there multiple points of contact, whether that's for the free lunch delivery, for administration, for each teacher? What are they? So once you identify your need to knows, which you may not know what you need to know at this point, I highly suggest you first check the school website. Many schools have done a great job of compiling all of their immediate contact information and tutorials on how to use the learning platforms. Figure out what you think you need to know. I will give you a template that lists several of the things I think are important, but there may be more. Once you know what you think you need to know, plan a schedule. This will help keep everyone calm, on track, and bring some normalcy to your life. And finally, just breathe. We will get through this together. So once you've figured out your need to knows, it's great to organize them in a table. You can see here I have put some of the things I think are important to know when trying to um, facilitate learning at home. If your student is over in sixth grade or higher, they may have several classes, each taught by a different teacher. You'll need to know where to find those assignments, where to turn them in, that might be a different place. How to get help, is it through email, is it through text, is it through the learning platform? Are there new office hours for each teacher and administrator? And perhaps each teacher has set a single due date for the week. If you note below, there is a bit.ly link that again, right now, if you want to pause the video, take a picture or a screenshot, or just wait till the end and click on the links in the description below the YouTube video. When you click, when you open up this link, it will bring you to a Google document that will prompt you to make a copy. So go ahead and click yes and make a copy, and it will open up this document, which once you open it is completely editable. If you want to change some of those need to knows at the top, go ahead. You can type in each class, each teacher name, anything you like. If you need more rows, just hit tab along the bottom. If you want to make a separate document for each child, just make a copy of the document. So once you've identified what you think you need to know, you might as well start planning a schedule. 
And what better way to plan a schedule and to have buy-in is to have your children help you make that schedule. I have a very close friend who has two young children and she asked them to help make their daily schedule. I love that the first couple items are free time, rest time, and recess time. And most importantly, near the bottom, mom and dad time. So although I'm going to give you some templates to plan a schedule, I really suggest you include your child in making that plan. So here's one example of a schedule. It says say elementary, but it could apply to any grade. Notice the link over on the right. You can pause and take a picture or screenshot or wait till later and click on it in the description. When you click on it, it will prompt you to make a copy and you will get your own document that looks like this. Again, you can type right in the document and make any changes. This one's already filled out with ideas um, for each category. And you'll notice the categories are colored. So academic is blue, creative is purple, and so on. There are times to the left, but of course you can change those. So this is a nice way to start with some ideas, but kind of um, personalize them to you and your family. Here's another example of a way to schedule learning at home. And this might be more for a child who can organize their time and make, make decisions. So this one, once you enter the link, you'll notice it listed on the right-hand side there, will open up your own version of this spreadsheet list. And this list, you can file, make a copy each day. So if you wanna make a new one for every day, you'll notice that there are color-coded blocks here. And each color-coded block is a category of activity. And up here, our instructions must complete at least 50 minutes in each color category. So what you ask your child to do is choose an activity, complete the activity, write a short summary over, you can have them write it in here. I probably would like more than a sentence. And then in this second, uh, second column to enter how much time they spent. Once you, once they, as they're, excuse me, as they're going through and entering the time, if you look down here at the bottom, there is an equation that will add up the time for them. So in this example, this person completed 420 minutes of activity. Another bonus is that we already have some preloaded activities. So if you hover over any of these items that have an underline on, on them, they are a hyperlink and it will take you or your child to a site with some example activities. So for instance, this tour museum will take them to um, some choices of virtual museums. Again, if you want to change the categories, you could rewrite your own in here and you can make as many copies as you like for um, daily use. I really like this one because they, it's a menu of choices. So my objectives for today were to identify your need to knows. I chose some for you, but you probably have more. Figure out a way to organize that information. You have a table template that you can organize that information and to create a schedule and you now have two separate templates that you may use to create a schedule. Canyon Professional Development is here to serve and support and inspire our community of educators, students, and parents. We can be contacted through any of these links, whether it's our YouTube channel where all of our videos are housed. You can contact us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and finally notice the email address below. I'd like you to, to remind you that we are here to empower, educate, and inspire you so that you will take action to fulfill your purpose and to serve others. It is our goal to serve you.
if you have the opportunity, we would really appreciate you completing our evaluation. Notice the link at the bottom, bit.ly slash Canyon PD webinar. We use this information to make changes for future presentations and also to get ideas for what topics you are interested in. All of our videos are housed on our YouTube channel. And we are hosting weekly Wednesday webinars that are live 10 a.m. every Wednesday Mountain Standard Time. So thank you, and please let us know how we can support you.